Hi everyone, it's Beck from my channel FML Foods My Life. Now I'm not in the kitchen today and as much as I love cooking, I'm going to be spending the next 10 days eating. I'm just about to head to the airport with my son. We are heading to the beautiful tropical island of Sri Lanka. Now if you've seen any of my videos before, you know that Sri Lanka is part of my heritage. And to say I'm excited to be going back to Sri Lanka is an understatement because I've not been there since the start of COVID. My time is limited. I'm spending a couple of days in the capital city. I wish I had more time there because my goodness, as far as food's concerned, there is so many options in Colombo. I'm going to instead head, head down for the majority of my time to the south of the island, which is my absolute favorite part of Sri Lanka. It's where all the beautiful beaches are. Such a chill vibe down there. I can't wait. And a really funky cafe scene, which I can't wait to check out. I'm going to take as much footage as I can, make a few videos when I get home to share with you. So come with me now as I take you on a culinary adventure to Sri Lanka. Jacob and I to a little cafe I love to visit when I'm in Colombo. It's called One Up and um, I particularly like One Up. The owner is lovely and he has based the menu inspired from Australian food or foods you typically find at an Australian cafe. I know it sounds weird that I've come to Sri Lanka and I'm started out with an Australian inspired cafe. But you know what? We just feel like pancakes and we're going to have an awesome breakfast to get us started. Lots of authentic traditional Sri Lankan food to come. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh. That is the prettiest hot chocolate I've ever seen. Thank you. That's beautiful. So is this just extra milk? If yes. Yeah. That would again. Wow. Thank you so much. Because, madam, we are using the chocolate ice cube also. That's why we are eating more milk. Chocolate ice cream? Yes. Sorry, chocolate ice cubes. Oh, chocolate ice cubes. Yes. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. It's so pretty. This is a very pretty ice chocolate. We've got this beautiful garnish here, but there's also chocolate ice cubes with extra milk. Wow. I have to share this with you all. This is a pancake stack in Sri Lanka. Look at this, just wow. Look at the fresh fruit, the ice cream. I mean, how the hell are we gonna eat all these pancakes? This beautiful caramel sauce. <gasps> Look, this place is just, it goes above and beyond. <sighs> this is amazing. I'm so glad we ordered one to share because literally four people could eat this. So, if you're ever in Colombo, one up. Come try it out for yourselves because this place is amazing. Look, it's more expensive than some of the other cafes that you'll find around here, but if you're looking for a little bit fancy, a little bit indulgent, something that reminds you of home and attention to detail, this is it. So generous with the serving sizes, hey. Are we going to finish this? No. I really wish I can, though. If you have four people, mm. come and check it out. And this is probably the best mango smoothie I've ever had. Easy. Mm. Just a quick uh, let you know, the, um, the thickness Look at that. is that much that's like that a, is that's an inch that's an inch and there was what four of them jacob yep four of them <gasps> amazing and not to mention like there's mango there's strawberry there's banana it's just it's just beautiful mm. so good so we've just had a busy morning we've had a huge breakfast 
Then we went for a walk along the beach and we've gone to a brand new shopping mall to check that out. We were still so full from breakfast, we couldn't even have lunch. But I did bring home some takeaway. So, there's this bakery in Sri Lanka I keep hearing about called the Green Cabin. And basically they sell beautiful cakes um, and all things you'd expect to find in the bakery. But they also sell traditional Sri Lankan um, snacks. So one of their snacks is called the pan roll. And I've got here two. I didn't go to, you know, I'm trying to control myself because I have a whole heap more eating to do tonight. So I got myself the mutton pan roll. Let's see what that's like. Oh, mmm. Oh, that's good. Super crunchy. And the meat filling, a slight sweetness to it, and a nice little kick as well. Quite spicy. That's awesome. And I got myself their chicken roll. They have vegetable rolls, fish rolls. They have patties, which is like a, um, a pastry filled with usually like a fish curry and they have samosas. Oh my God, so many things. I didn't know what to choose, so I couldn't eat them all. Here's the chicken one. Oh, that's great too. Mm. I like them both equally. So yummy. If you've watched my videos before, I make these at home myself. We call them pan rolls and I make them with a, a beef curry usually. Um, that's awesome. The other thing that this bakery is really famous for is these cute little iced coffees that they sell. I've never tried this yet, but apparently they are super delicious. Let's have a look. Wow. Sweet, but not too sweet. Ice cold. This is the perfect snack. This is the per I'm I'm so glad we didn't have lunch today, Jacob. This is perfect. Yeah. This is perfect. Oh, and can you pass me? I want to show everyone yeah. what we found. Yeah, look, check so this out. Basically, in Singapore. In Singapore we Airport. We I don't know. These might be in Australia, but I haven't seen them yet. M&M's, peanut butter. How good are they? I've just been eating them mm. um, while mm. watching. Yeah, Jacob's set. He's watching YouTube and he's having... Peanut butter M&M's. Peanut M&M's are my favorite, but instead of a crunchy peanut, it's a smooth peanut butter. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna turn off the camera now. Keep snacking until tonight. in Hirakepia, my favourite destination in the south of Sri Lanka, and I've come to a place called Salt. I come here every time I'm in Sri Lanka. I love this place. I have to talk quietly because there's a yoga class here. We're about to eat some brownies. Best brownies in Sri Lanka are at Salt and Hirakepia. These brownies are so nicely presented and they are super moist. So nice. What do you think, Jacob? What's your reaction? Mm. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's good. Are you in brownie heaven right now? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Right, I'm just gonna stop filming so I can eat it. So, my son and I are staying in a town called Dickwella and it is down the south of Sri Lanka. It is close to my favourite place called here in Kedvia Beach. Now it's 6.15 in the evening, we're about to have some dinner. And if you can see behind me along the beach, there are so many little, little restaurants and funky little cafes along the beach. We've chosen one called Habibi. And we've ordered some chicken kotu roti, which is basically um, roti, flatbread, chopped up 
really thin like noodles and then covered in a curry sauce. We bought it the chicken curry. There's the vegetables in there. It's delicious. It's a popular Sri Lankan street food. I think there's no better way of having dinner than sitting on the beach with my toes in the sand, watching the sunset in the distance. And I've ordered a family. It's a small yellow coconut. These little coconuts are only found in Sri Lanka and South India, I'm pretty sure. And I love the way they chop it, they slice it and make it look like a little mouse with a tail. This coconut water is always really sweet. And it's especially nice when they've chilled the coconut. So yummy. And then once you've drank it, you can ask them to cut it open for you and scoop out the kernel inside, the young coconut flesh. So it's like a drink and a meal in one. So the kotu has come and it looks sensational. Topped with a fried egg, which is a nice little surprise. All right, so let me do the test. She's in shock right now. A sensational. That is just so much flavor. Wow. Oh my gosh, Jacob, you're gonna love this. I'm not oh, sure good. if we should have bought one to share. We need one each because I could eat all of this really easily. Just the combination of spices in there, but it's not like chili hot. Some it can be if you order it to be chili hot, but this is amazing. If you ever come to Sri Lanka, Kotu, you have to order the Kotu. So I've just had another yellow coconut and the man has cut it in half for me. And this is the young coconut kernel. And they give you a spoon to scoop out the flesh. And it's just it's like a baby coconut, so it's nice and soft. And it's a bonus because you get to like have a drink and have a snack at the same time. And they're so cheap. Like $1.50. So we're leaving Dick Willa today and we're going to our next destination. I've ordered a quick breakfast from the hotel and I've got eggs on toast with pole sambal. Now pole sambal is a staple in Sri Lanka. It's eaten as an accompaniment to rice and curry dishes, but it's also one of those things that you just love to have on toast. It's really comfort food. It's, it's freshly grated coconut mixed with chili and onion and tomato and lime juice, salt and pepper. It's, it's delicious. And if it's something you want to try, it's also on my website. So there's no excuses. You can watch my demo and give it a go for yourself. This is the perfect breakfast. Can I, Danica, can I have a little film of, of all the buns? Yeah, can I film? The buns is the, the big bun, sweet bun, wow. a fish bun, and a bread. Kade pan. Kade pan. Malu pan. Malu pan. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, yeah. Aww. And try banana, try banana. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi, Buan. Go home with her? Oh no. Go home with Stuti. Thank you, Janika. <laughs> Jacob and I are out for dinner. Hey. And we are watching a beautiful sunset while I enjoy a cocktail. Jacob enjoys a Coke. Just looked at the menu and Jacob wants chicken kotu again. So it looks like we're in search of the perfect kotsu now. Well, at least I enjoyed it last time. You did enjoy it last time, and there's so many things on the menu to try, but chicken kotsu again. Hey, you wanted it too. Hey, look, I'm not going to pass on a chicken kotsu. Let me show you our view.
He ordered the chicken kotu and this is like I've never seen before. It actually comes with chicken. Oh, I thought that was crap. That's like deep fried chicken, nice and crispy skin. Oh my lordy, this looks like some serious kotu. Go on Jacob, have a little bit and tell us what you think. Is it spicy? Like chili? Hot? Yep. Chut ducks, a little bit. Oh, look at him, he's talking the talk. <gasps> wow. All right, well, I'm turning this camera off because I need to dig into this. I just noticed that this chicken kotu comes with a side serve of the curry sauce, which is awesome because that's it's meant to be a little bit wet. So you pour the curry sauce over and now that's just even better. Okay, this chicken kotu wins. This is a, probably the best chicken kotu I've ever had. Ever? Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow. Maybe it's because I'm watching the sunset at the same time. I don't know. There's something magic about this experience today. Ocean's right in front of us, surfers doing what they love to do. This is heaven. I'm in heaven. This is my heaven anyway. This is awesome. So if you ever are in Sri Lanka in the south, come to Ahangama and it's called Hotel de Uncles. Check it out. There it is. Come here, order the chicken kotu.